hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are enjoying the videos we had created a lot many videos on the html and css this is the fourth video we are just going to create on the css for this if you are a beginner you can start from the first session because till now we had finished the introduction of the css why we required the css the types of the css how to give the css on the paragraphs how to give the css on unordered list and on an ordered list till now we had finished now we are go uh, going to create uh, the video on how to give the css on images so my suggestion if you are a beginner start from the first session i had given the links below into the description section of this video so now we are just going to give the css on the images so open a notepad file or a notepad plus plus as of i had told you there are lot many editors are available into the market you can work on notepad on notepad plus plus edit plus plus dream viewer these many softwares are available you can work on any one so i prefer in my case i am just going to use the notepad plus plus so open the notepad plus plus click on the file click on the new write down the coding of the html as we had discussed that we had we have to give the css on the html because css just giving the uh, new things or new implementation on the css so we have to write down the code on the html mention the head section style tag we have to use we had discussed the three types of the css this one is embed css so for that we required a image here so mention the image and the source of the image so you have to mention a image so just choose a image from anywhere you have in my case i have the image on the desktop so this is the image which is the type of png having the file name 1 so firstly you have to save the html file so just save the file so firstly let me save save on anywhere so in my case i am just going to save on desktop give any name you want so in my case just giving the manish and we are creating a html document on the html we have to give the css or style so by default it's showing the type .txt because we are creating a html document make it to the change to the all types so scroll up and all types click on the save after saving check where is your image or your html document so this is our html document which having the name manish same here one we have the image also so both html and image are on the same drive so no need to be mention the path if you have a image in another drive you have to firstly specify the path so in my case i have a video uh, sorry not video i have a image which is of uh, the png type and name as a one so mention the image name directly and the type which is the png save the file and reload the page so it's showing a image which is so bigger that i can see it properly so what we have to do we have to adjust the size or height of width so we have to give the css of image so mention the image then after give a height width property so any height you wants 
सो टू हंड्रेड एंड विथ एनी विथ इवेंट्स सो थर्टी पिक्सल सेव द फाइल एंड रिलोड द पेज सो इट्स एडजस्ट द साइज ऑफ हाइट एंड विथ ऑफ द इमेज यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव अनदर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द इमेज सो यू कैन सेट आउट द बॉर्डर सो फाइव पिक्सल बॉर्डर आई वॉन्ट्स इन द सॉलिड एंड एनी कलर यू वॉन्ट्स मैंशन द कलर इन रेड सेव द फाइव एंड रिलोड द पेज सो इट्स शोइंग ए बॉर्डर विथ रेड कलर हैविंग द फाइव पिक्सल विथ इन रेड कलर यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज द टाइप सो बॉर्डर फाइव पिक्सल डॉटेड रेड सेव द फाइल एंड रीलोड और रिफ्रेश द पेज यू कैन डायरेक्टली रिफ्रेश द पेज यूजिंग एफ फाइव एंड यू कैन सेव द फाइल यूजिंग कंट्रोल प्लस एस सो रीलोड द पेज इट शोइंग द डॉटेड बॉर्डर यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज द टाइप फाइव पिक्सल डबल रेड सेव द फाइल यूजिंग कंट्रोल एस एंड रिफ्रेश द पेज यूजिंग एफ फाइव सो इट्स शोइंग ए बॉर्डर विथ डबल लाइन्स बॉर्डर फाइव पिक्सल डैश रेड सेव द फाइल एंड रिफ्रेश द पेज सो इट्स शोइंग द बॉर्डर विथ ए डैश द फॉर्मेट give a border 5 pixel in set red save the file and refresh the page so in inset one side color is the light red and the one side color is the brown or dark red so this is the property of inset you can make it to the outset also outset red save the file and reload the page so it's showing the opposite result of inset in inset case uh, this side was the dark and this was the light but it's just opposite in this side this is the dark and this is the light you can also make a image dull so for implementing you have to give the opacity directly if you give the property opacity to make a file dull or make a image dull it's just working on the google chrome only uh, if you have to uh, make opacity on the mozilla you have to mention moz and opacity so it's multi browser supporting so if you have to uh, give the property on the mozilla or if you want to see on the mozilla users to specify this one so in my case i am just using the google chrome so directly you can mention the opacity one is the maximum value which does not show any result because this is the highest value so save and reload it's not showing any changes on the image because this is the highest opacity it will not make your image dull so if you wants to make your image dull just decrease the value in the points 0.7 save the file and refresh or reload the page so so it's showing image okay it's not responding my notepad plus plus file is not responding so uh, let it be respond save the file and refresh the page so see it's showing the image into dull if you wants to make more dull so save the file decrease the values into the points 
and reload the page so it's showing image very much up if you'll make it 0.0, .0 which is the minimum value so it will make the image unvisible so I guess you uh, understand uh, what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value in minimum value it will make your image unvisible and if you give the value 1 uh, there will be no changes so make the changes as you want as much dull you want you can make the changes so this is how we can implement the CSS on the image so I hope you are enjoying the video so if you want more updates from our side just click on the notification bell so that we will be get more updates from our side thank you very much be happy